Tonight, a baby in Hartford is in critical condition and her father is now behind bars. That little girl who was thrown headfirst into a crib remains in critical condition. That's just heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. And tonight, we're learning more about this two-month-old girl named Adora. News 8's A.J. Walker spent the day talking to the baby's loved ones. A.J.? Today, I caught up with some of the baby's family members on their way to see her at the hospital. They tell me her name is Adora and she's not out of the woods yet. I also got copies of the court documents that revealed chilling details about how she was injured. I'm praying that she just respond, wake up. She's talking about two month old baby Adora clinging to life at Connecticut's Children's Hospital since Monday when she was thrown head first into her bassinet by her father, hitting her fragile little head on the hard part of the crib. Since then, she's been fighting to live. She made it through the surgery. Uh, I spoke to her mother this morning. She, they said that her eyes are not dilating properly. I caught up with her on today on her way to visit Adora at the hospital. She says the baby's abuse is gut wrenching for the family. It's devastating and it's painful and, and, it, and it hurts. Adora's father, Marcus Rooks, was babysitting her while her mother was away at work. When her mother got home, she and other family members knew something was wrong with her. Rooks admitted to police he too knew something was wrong with his daughter after throwing her like a rag doll, but he didn't take her to a hospital or call 911 for fear of getting arrested. But Rooks was arrested yesterday, charged with felony first degree assault and risk of injury to a minor. Those charges could change if baby Adora's condition gets worse. I don't know what possessed Marcus to do what he did, but I'm also praying for him too because I know in his own way he loves his, his child. Adora Zahn says before the tragedy, she thought Rooks was a good father, but now it's up to police and DCF who continue to investigate this accused child abuser. I commended him many times on being a good dad. That's you see where we are now. We never know what goes on in a person's mind when they're angry. The mother has not been charged in this case. The father, Marcus Rooks, will be in court again May 2nd. And, of course, we'll keep you up to date with details on this developing story. Live in the Hartford Newsroom, A.J. Walker, News 8.